for the crime of prostitution and infanticide of the first and third degrees, I hereby sentence sinner 67H to death by injection on this day, April 14th, year 11. You may escort her from the court. Nice work, Hayes. Uh, you may send in the final case. Identify yourself, sinner. She refuses to speak, Father. Just as well, we have those who can speak for you. Uh, bring me her documents. Luna? I thought you were dead. I thought they killed you. They will. Officer Hayes? Prepare your statement. Your Worship, I haven't had a chance to review the defendant's case. She's not a defendant, Prosecutor. She's a criminal. But I don't recall you needing extra time to review your previous cases. Now read the charges and make your statement. Prosecutor, read the charges. Two counts, civil disobedience during the V-Day uprisings. Sympathizing with known dissidents. One count, infanticide, first degree. Two counts, infanticide, third degree. Your Worship, these were done via misoprostyl. Via misoprostyl, yes, which would mean an additional two counts of illegal drug possession, wouldn't it, Prosecutor? That's correct, Father. Then there is this matter of the son. It says here he was reported missing nine years ago. Is that correct? Well, Prosecutor? But she saved his life. I beg your pardon? Child smuggling is not an act of grace, Prosecutor. This woman is a child killer. Ms. Prosto was not- I will not have you making a mockery of this courtroom. Do your job or I will. Do you acknowledge the severity of these sins? Do you acknowledge the severity of these sins? Yes, Father. And does this sinner display signs of remorse? Father... Does the sinner display any signs of remorse? Not that I'm aware of. Louder so the court can hear you. Not that I'm aware Louder, of. Louder, prosecutor. No! She shows no signs of remorse. Very well. The Lord loves you, child. But the Lord does not love sin. For committing these sins and showing no signs of remorse, I hereby sentence sinner 77J to death by injection on this day, April 14th. <clears throat> May God have mercy on your soul. You may escort her from this courtroom. She didn't do anything wrong. She violated the laws of this nation. She did nothing wrong. Archer. Archer, please. What happened to you? This court has made its ruling. Take her away. Officer Hayes, I suggest the next time that you are given an order to represent the laws of this nation, by this or any other court, that you do so with the required virtues of diligence and servitude. I don't know what caused this sudden outburst of pity, but such weakness will not be tolerated by me or any other court. You are hereby relieved of your prosecution duties until further notice. I'm surprised. You have finally managed to disappoint me. You are dismissed. Yes, Father. <laughs>